Primo's honey. Stream the language. In the introduction, we gave you some instructions on how to go about selecting a mouth call for your individual mouth. Now, once that's done, let's go a little bit further. All right, so we've learned to put our tongue to the roof of our mouth and form the letter S, S, S. And that's what you do when you take the call. You put that in your mouth, the call becomes the roof of your mouth, and you go S. <coughs> For cow elk sounds, it's a high slurred to a low. So, high. So what you're gonna do is press, get that high note and loosen your tongue to get the second note. You're gonna experiment with it. Sound pretty bad at first and all of a sudden you'll begin to get control of the call and you'll feel it come together. <coughs> Chirp being a very short noted high pitch. Also, the higher and the shorter, it sounds like a calf searching for mama. And they will repeatedly do this when they get lost to separate it from mama. And a lot of times, that will excite a bull knowing that a young calf is searching for mama and he can come running in. And then you've got the mute. The longer, the louder, Those are estrus sounds on a mouth call. The sound of a cow elk who's all excited during the mating season, uh, breeding season, and, and the bulls get very excited over that. So once you learn to get that sound and not leak air around the sides of the call, you can control it from a high slurred to a low. So it's not hard. There's not very much jaw movement at all. There's a lessening of the tension of the tongue to get that second note when you're using an like elk call. One more time. High note, slur to low. Hope this helps you get on your way to using a mouth call for calling elk.